The Dream Ranch recap is going on. All the information about Dream Ranch there in our show notes, too. Great idea for, for corporate gatherings. We just did that this past weekend as a company, and it's fabulous. They've got uh, great quail hunts, great dogs, great guides, uh, you know, good birds. Uh, you know, they do pheasant hunts and duck hunts, too. And of course, the deer hunting's done for the year. I mean, you can look if you want to book your group for next year. But if you like mud, Paul Moultrie knows where to find it. He does. He does. No, he Every does. time I came through the lodge, somebody was saying, Paul stuck. Yeah. I, uh, Paul uh, stuck again. Yeah. One, one of the Ainsworth Who brothers. Who taught him how to drive in mud? Well, Austin huh? and I got stuck once, too, but we got out of it. We were headed over to, 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 to Coach. We'll get to Coach. He's next, and then there's another story. But Paul's funny. So, so we come back in after Adler has taken his deer, <laughs> and if you missed that, Adler had the whole recap. So we come back in. So now it, it turns into this this breakfast time, and then uh, Will Ainsworth, who is the, one of the other brothers, had set up a chance for me to go up and speak at the Wolf's Men's Conference at Liberty Church. Thank all of you. I got to see Hobie sing, by the way. Yeah, Hobie. So, Hobie. So Hobie was the worship leader. He did a, f- a fabulous job. Everybody stand up. Yep, it was it was a <laughs> great. It, it was it was funny. I saw I thought of when I went in, and uh, he uh, he did Thank a tremendous God, job. Happy. It was real quick because he was he was finishing as I was brought in. I was the first speaker, and then after that we finished up, and I was taken back. So and it went it went great. I was honored to be part of that. Like it was going to be a. Fa- I'm sure y'all had an incredible day together. So. So I come back over. Well, when I come back, everybody's gone, and I see Dad standing there. I said, I, I, you know, I see Coach. So he was going to out. But when when we first came back, before I headed over to to this, there's this obsession, and that'll get us into Coach a minute. But the, Bill Scott, who hunts with us every year, this obsession with we shoot these canisters that that explode. Tannerite. I, I don't know what it's called. Yeah, tannerite. And and they explode. Yeah. That's, I call it tannerite. Which again, <laughs> don't keep hang on to this theme as I keep talking about it. I, I did not bring my 300 because I didn't think I was going to hunt. I brought a 270 for Adler to use, and then the boys had their guns, okay? And, and so they're and they're a little bit smaller, and, and they're, one's a 243 and one's a 7-millimeter 08. So, uh, so anyway, he starts, he says, you got your big gun? I said, I didn't. I left my big gun at home. And he's like, ah, oh, well, well, I'm going to put some other ones down here that are closer for the, the other guns that, that are not really long-distance shooting guns. And I said, okay. And he said, you want to shoot one? And I said, well, sure, I'll shoot one. So I, I, I had, I got the seven millimeter 08 and found one, and, and and I shot it, and it exploded. So at that point, I turn around to all the kids, and I say, <laughs> all the boys, stand yeah, there. all the boys are standing there, and I say, <laughs> it ain't the gun. You know, meaning if you miss, yeah. Well, oh, immediately, yeah. I, immediately, I see mine going, mm, and they back off. I see Hunter back, and all. I even, even saw, even saw, you know. And all of a sudden, coming out barefooted, right onto the porch, comes one Caitlin Bussey. She says, oh, I'll have a go at it. I don't remember her exact phrase, but she took the gun and says, I'm in. She did. And she did. So we had, we had the video. You don't have to worry about her staying on the target too long, do you? <laughs> no. Uh-oh. She's more from your school, Rick. She is, Throw it up and she, shoot. She and I shoot very similar. It's on. And there, there, there's the explosion. What happened to the audio? Yeah. I guess he slowed it down, I guess. I'm yeah. That, uh, oh, wait, play it again. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the, play it one more time. I, we we need see. the one where you can actually yeah. hear the explosion. Yep, that's on. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the slow motion is cool, but you lose the audio. Yeah. It's on our Instagram yeah. account, yeah. Twitter account. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if we can. Uh, I'd like to see. Have you got the regular? Speaker? We need. We need what you he can't did. get the full effect till you hear the explosion. Well, what I love too on the Instagram, you can see what Bubba's talking about. Can you get any more stereotypical? Then you look up and there's one of our daughters out there barefooted with her toes yeah, freezing pants. cold, Shoot, barefooted, shooting, shooting a seven millimeter oh eight at something yeah. that explodes. Yeah, blowing something up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just said that about some of our friends. I said, yeah, sure. We hunt and we have guns and trucks and we blow things up barefooted. Here you go, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's look, here to hear this again, where you can hear okay. the actual explosion. Oh, okay, I turned the safety on. Is that okay? Yep. yep. That's on. <laughs> <laughs> Serious. <Yeah. laughs> Serious <laughs> 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 We're loving every bit of it. Kayla can shoot pretty good. Her and Hunter both. They, I try to get them out and let them shoot a little bit, and they, they did pretty well, good. Well, I'll tell you what's funny about that is, it, is I could tell from the guys that at first they didn't want to do it because they knew all these very scary men would get on them because <laughs> yeah. they'd seen the way we treat each other and now we're on everybody. Well, isn't it worse now that the girl has done it? That's, what, that's my next point. I was going to say, so then – 
it, there was no way they were going to do it after a girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They were at done, first man. they were just like, I'm, I'm not going to miss and be ragged by these men. No. Okay, now the girls hit it. I'm out. <laughs> so, uh, so we do that. So I go over to the men's conference and we had a great time. And so when I come back again, I've just been told that I'm now hunting. So I don't, I don't know what to think. And so I look, and as I walk in, and there he is. There's Coach. <laughs> He's come from his sales meeting. Not He's happy. Ca- He's camoed he up. He's got his, so long? got his binoculars strapped on his chest. And he went, he, hey, when are we going out? And I thought, please don't let me be the one that has caused him to be stalled. Please don't let him be waiting on me. And I was like, Dad, I, I thought they were going. No, no, no. I just, I just got here and got dressed. Hey, let's go. And I, I, I said, please, somebody, please. So I, I said, don't even, don't even worry about me. I'm not dressed. Please, I don't even care if I don't hunt. Please, I don't let me go up there and, and, and him be going, oh, gosh, how long does it take? Hey. And I said, please, somebody take him. And uh, so I think he ends up going out, and he didn't he didn't do anything that day, did he? And then, no. and what and, all does your dad care with him when he goes? He he does carry binoculars now. Binoculars, oh, yeah. and Greg and a gun. Greg, the discu- that's it, right? Yep. That's all he cares. That's it. The discussion of his gun again. He he it, loved that gun. That that gun. Oh, and the case that that he carries it in. Oh yeah. He gave me a. Uh, talking to him about, great how, about, about how old the case is, and how long oh. he's had it. Did he he's t- proud it, of it. Now, what he likes in the bubble. This would be. I've had that case. This would be more. He your, needs to get a better case. This would be more your uh-huh. area and your son Hunter's area. I don't really care that much about guns as far as the, all the ins and outs of right. them. Now, Dad, <laughs> Dad loves to give you the host. He talks at one point about how it also once it's once it's uh, sided in, it holds it because they made them in those days. It's heavier where the scope is. So if you were to bump it or whatever, it doesn't really affect. You. They went on to make them lighter. I mean, that's fine, but. But I mean, now you know every time you bump it, you work your scopes off, and it's lever action, and it's uh, it, it's it's mm-hmm. wood grain. Mm-hmm. It, it's it's a three oh eight. It took him forever for me to ever get him to consider upgrading the scope. You know what I mean? And it is. Has a, he ever refinished it, or is that the original? Oh, that's the original. Don't don't even bring him. Oh, you you, you must have heard him give his speech on it. Somebody told me he's going to refinish it. <laughs> Why you got to refinish it? What's wrong with it? Looks fine. Yeah, every time it won't some, be original. Then won't right? be original. Then no, no, I like it just like it is. Uh, ain't, they ain't they just they ain't no better shooting yeah. gun than this. And and then I and then I said, somebody offer him a three hundred eight. They offer him an all weather black one, composite. Yeah, they'll composite. Yeah. Somebody say, hey, coach, you want you want to just use this one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and like that, he goes, nah, I'll just stay with this. One. It's kind of like a wood bat. You know, they have a, they have their own yeah. feel. That's for sure. So yeah. when we come back, so so he does not see anything and sees deer but he didn't shoot anything that day and then and then we go into the final day the final day things get real interesting on that final day real interesting yeah. we'll talk about that when we come back stay close more of the rick and bubba show right after this rick and bubba rick and bubba and uh, and so uh, we've updated everybody now we're up to uh, the final day that we're there and and things are starting to, to change a, a little bit because uh, you know they want they want you to, they want they want to have a great weekend and and it's been wonderful for the kids who shot their first buck or the kids who who were you know shot a buck a little better than what they've shot before uh, and uh, and so right now Bubba has not seen anything that um, that he could either get on or want to, or well or, I, or I saw one come running by but yeah, I, that I, one was yeah. probably a good one if you could yeah. if it we yeah, had a chance just, no no hope for me to get on I haven't seen anything that uh, I haven't even seen a deer yet at the, at this point uh, and then uh, we've Mary. got uh, uh, my son that's out uh, has been hunting he has not Mary. seen anything he said he saw a few that were borderline but he said I thought that I didn't think because I I'd really probably overdone it I said don't pull the trigger unless it's something bigger than anything you've shown yeah and uh, and so and so he had not done that. So, so we, and in a shocker, JC's been brought up. Yeah. Hey, come on, take so, JC. So now Reese is back. He's tagged out. I got JC out. So now the, the, the Ainsworth is saying, "Look, all hands on deck." Yeah. Let's I mean, go. It, it was interesting to see this because it, it was it was changing everything, and he's starting. You're hunting now. You're hunting now. So anyway, so we go out, and he's really wanting a good. He said, "Man, we need it. We need. We need. We've got the first deer hunters. That's been great. We need it. We need a big one." And, and so we, we he he comes up to me and of course dad's already come in. Everybody at Dream Ranch said we made the mistake of attempting to go get his stuff and carry it up to his room. And we I were, witnessed that by the way, and I I got me a coffee and sat down. It was excellent. Yeah, he, <laughs> and ain't nobody ain't no need to carry my stuff. I can carry my own stuff. I knew it was coming, and right. I went out on the porch and right. sat down and took it all in. 
Yeah. <laughs> so I got one of those, uh, basically the same box he does, except it's got wheels on it. I which I like to roll. Yeah, I understand that Speedy. Let him had, roll. You asked permission to pick his boots up when he dropped them coming in. I did. I kept going out. Uh, the what hunt was done. He had his. He had his his little Rubbermaid deal. He was. He and then and, and, and with with two fingers he was holding his rifle case, and then with these other two fingers he was trying to combo his boots. He gets about halfway and his boots slip out and they hit the f- ground and I, and I just nervous hand I reached down and said can I can I get these for you yeah that's fine I was like because I, I wasn't gonna touch his boots without permission and don't miss this he demanded someone be putting that suite he would not have that suite by himself we had we had the the big the big it VIP suite and he's like he said what they got me in here for I said hey, we want you to have your own place yes you don't have to bump he was, with was he in the honeymoon suite oh yeah yes huh? and he's like well I don't know about that and I said that just put your stuff in there so you ain't gonna be here long anyway. <laughs> Yeah, you know I mean, that's so, where y'all used to quarantine me with the CPAP. Yeah, 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 yeah. that in the back deck. So, so <laughs> in, anyway, so he says. Um, so, so day. now we've gone through the afternoon hunt. So now, now we're now we're getting ready for the final day, and Austin Ainsworth comes to us, and he's really he said, "Man, I'm trying to make it happen. We got to change strategies for those that are have hunting long enough that we can." And he says, "You think your dad can go into the swamp to a ladder stand?" And I said, "Oh gosh, I hope he didn't overhear that, <laughs> huh?" Can I go in a ladder? <laughs> he does that laugh. <laughs> I go in a ladder stand. That's where I'd rather be. Take me in the swamp. I want to get in that ladder. I want to be. I want to get in. The so because you know, th- there's there's places where like Adler <laughs> talked about. If you're new to it, or you're you're young and 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 you need the entertainment of seeing <laughs> lots of de- lots of deer, <laughs> and then there's that thing where you're willing now to go. I'll go to the feast or famine place. Yep. If I see a deer, it's going to be special, or I may, or I'm going to see nothing. I mean, it's not be one of those days where you're sitting there and you right. get to watch all the wild yeah. you know, all day long. And so Bubba and I were hunting those kind of places too, and we were coming up empty, uh, but we were more up in a in a mountain type setup. And he he wanted to go to the swamp, and I said he can do that. That's not a problem. <laughs> did, you, did you tell him I he he y'all don't think I can climb a ladder stand? D- Dad, I didn't say that. I just said he asked me <laughs> about that. <laughs> and I said, Dad, you're going okay, and I you, you're going to the ladder stand in the middle of a swamp. That's where you're heading. So, so, so they, they get him out there, and, and he he's up there, and he starts texting me all caps, of course. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you you in? Y- yes, sir. Yeah, believe it or not, I was able to get out here and get in the ladder stand. <laughs> I can I can almost see hear the laughing in the text. Yeah. So anyway, the so, fact that he's texting while hunting is amazing. It so, is. So so anyway, so we get there, and on his flip phone, don't and, forget. That. And and and, it, and it's not hap- it's not happening again, and so. There starts this push of we're gonna we, we may have to hunt all day mm-hmm. and not and and so it, which he would absolutely love. So instead of picking up at the normal time, everything kind of got delayed because there was a changing of the plan. Helmsy doesn't know, but his life's about to change. His yeah. plans for the day are about to change, and and everything's starting to to do. So he gets left out there longer than normal, which he loves. You leaving there all day, and so if he if he come in when we normally come in, which he couldn't wait to tell me. He would not have shot this deer. Oh yeah. Okay. So so about thirty to forty minutes past the normal pickup time for a morning hunt, he fires, and and then the mania starts. Hey, that's coach. Coach is fired. Coach. Coach. Coach is fired. Coach. Now you, as usual, you only hear one shot, <laughs> and you know how straightforward he is. And, and so Austin, Austin says, "Call him, call him." I said, "I don't know about calling him." He's like, "No, call him, call him." Hey, Dad. Yeah. Did you shoot? Yeah. <laughs> I said, you 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 got a deer? Yeah. Is is the deer down? Yeah. Okay, you see it? Yeah. <laughs> is it a good one? Yeah, pretty good one. <laughs> a good one. Chasing does came right by me. And so he, so I said, okay. So we so we get out there. So now we're going deep into a swamp. We get stuck. There's been a lot of water. And there's at one but point Paul, we're like, we don't all driving. No, <laughs> it's, it's, it's awesome. It's at one point we're like, I don't know that we can get to him. Unless we go get one of these little ATV things, yeah. So he's out there for a long time that we're that we're trying to get to him. So when we get there, I can't believe we can't even go where he's at. Okay, so we go walking into the swamp, and he's standing. This is a hilarious moment. So there's the deer, and it's on the ground, and it is a good one. It's a really big eight point. And so as we're walking up, Austin doing the normal thing, doing the normal thing. So hey, what? A, yeah, he came running right through here. He's chasing about four or five does. I mean. I just had to take a shot I had. And so the first you're kind of, and he goes, he walks over and he picks up the deer by the antlers and he goes to raise the deer to get a look. He said, How far did he? And he was going to say run. And all of a sudden he sees that he shot in the deer. He goes, Never mind. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
Never mind. <laughs> you shot him through the neck. He didn't go nowhere. No. Nope. <laughs> well, you know, that's the only shot I had. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and then Austin yeah. said, well, you know, that can be, that can be a that can be a high reward, high risk. Uh, high, yeah. high, high, look, when he said high risk, and Dave looked at me and went, rolled his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> He said, "What's well, a smaller target?" He, he, yeah. he, he said, "It's 308." And I said, "Here we go." <laughs> yeah. Lever action, all wood. It's a straight shooting son of a gun. And I don't recall Greg, and I could be wrong. I do not recall that he has ever missed a deer or shot twice. I don't ever. I, not that I know. Rick, here now he only answers yes or no. Okay, here's my text to him because we, we had had a shot earlier. That's funny just to look at from right. Um, here. It's all caps, way. correct? Well, yes. Was that you that shot? No. Did you hear it? No. I think it's hung on. All right, another shot. Boom. Hey, got you one? Yes. Great job. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so and this goes back to la- the last time when I was there with him. He claims I texted him, and he was trying to text me back, and missed a deer came by. So he's trying not to text yeah. it at all. Right. So he's giving you this little answer. So, yeah. so, Hamsey, so Hamsey, he's mad at me. So now the legend. It's been four the, years. The legend now starts. So, so I realize he's drugged this deer a little way, but, guys, we're talking – a long drag through that swamp out to the truck. So Austin said, let's grab the deer. I'm not even going to ask him about it. That's right. And, and let's, let's, let's go. Let, let's start pulling. Well, we start pulling. <laughs> and the deer's about a 200-pound deer. <laughs> and we're pulling. Yeah, it slides through mud good, doesn't it? Yeah, and we're pulling, and Austin's looking at me, and I'm looking at him. And, our, and it's like all Ooh. I can think to myself is I can call my, my cardiologist Monday and tell him whether my heart's good or not. Because right. I'm either about to die. Right, face down, me. I was passing the test. I wasn't where I needed to be. Right, or I'm passing a cardio test right now. Right. So, so we're dragging it. He looks at me and he goes, "You need to stop." And I said, right. "I, with all my heart, I need to stop." But he is right behind us. Yeah. And I said, "If we stop, we will never hear the end." No. Of it. And uh, and so we we gutted it out. Yeah. Well, I was later later in the day, I said, "Boy." I don't have my legs about me right now. And I say, like, what happened? He goes, well, we couldn't stop. <laughs> we, we don't stop. He said, you need to stop. I said, with everything I am, I need to stop. I said, but there is no way we're stopping. And so we gutted it through. And he said, well, y'all just went ahead and grabbed it. So I thought I'd let you have it. And uh, I can't wait to talk to mom to let her know another deer's on the way. She's yeah. so mad. Oh, I know. another one. She so, told me when I brought that one like this past one, she said, don't y'all let him kill another deer. I know. She said, I've had enough. I know. I, I even said things to her like, it's good to see him so alive. I'm trying to help him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Helmsley. Nice wording on that. Back yeah. back at the uh, back at the lodge, the discussion of the next shot, you saw it. Well, I mean, somebody, and somebody, I don't, I don't even know who it was, but they're not, I guess, comfortable with or don't know that when you shoot one in the neck that it doesn't go anywhere. It's over. And so someone made the mistake of asking him, yes. said, uh, Coach, you get your deer. You know, they went through the whole thing, and then they said, uh, and they're hold, they're sitting there looking, hey, you shot it in the neck. He said, how far did it go once you shot it? And your dad's presentation on this was, I had to walk away because I didn't want to <laughs> laugh out loud in front of the guy. Right, hey. Well, I mean, you know, when you shoot them in the neck, they don't go anywhere. <laughs> but it was his delivery that, I mean, I had to just walk away without. You shoot them in the neck, they pretty much don't go anywhere. That's, that's it. <laughs> and, and that was his nice way of saying, hey, goody. Yeah. Lots <laughs> out. Yeah. The neck shot speaks for itself, sir. There's no, <laughs> that's the reason why it all said, hey, coach, how far did it? Never mind. Yeah. <laughs>